doesn't like reading about people conducting shady affairs? Hi everyone, I'm Jacob. I'm the Cow Hat Librarian. And this one's a gooder. It is The Shade Tree by Susie Lee. And I'll give you the TLDR right now. Go borrow this from your library or go buy a copy. This is phenomenal. It is a fun, modern story that reads like an old tale or legend. And Lee did just a great job telling it. As the story starts, there's a big tree in a village and a traveler wanders by and lays down in the shade. A grumpy old man comes over and says that he owns the tree and that no one else can enjoy the shade except him. And so the traveler offers to buy the shade from the man. He accepts. The traveler hands over a few coins. The man says, enjoy the shade, it's yours. And the traveler invites villagers to join him and they all enjoy the shade and it's great. But there's one thing the landowner didn't count on that shadows get bigger and smaller when he sold that shade at the height of the day the sun was directly above the tree only making a small puddled shadow below the tree but as the sun sets further and further and further in the west the tree shadows get longer and longer and longer until they encompass the man's house and because the traveler owns the shade, he can travel anywhere in it, including all through the man's house and yard. And in the end, this is a minor spoiler, but you can figure out where this is going. In the end, the man gives up and leaves. This was so great. It is a fun, funny story that ties in really really well for kids who are in elementary school learning about shadows and how they work and who pay attention to things like the length of shadows on sidewalks especially around sunrise and sunset it's a really really funny story it's an easy concept to grasp and the story of a common traveler putting one over a rich landowner is universally appealing the story was phenomenal the illustrations are a little more of a mixed bag. They have style. And they're brightly colored. And they feel reminiscent of like old ink stroke paintings and drawings. And that's all to the good. The only bad is that some of some of the details get pretty small. So you have to take a really close look to see that this is the landowner getting angry and that he's got his hands thrown up in exasperation and that the traveler is blazing around here. So it, it requires a closer view. It makes this book better suited to sharing one-on-one -on -one or with maybe two or three children and less suitable for things like story times when you're reading to a big group and having to hold the book further back from them. Still, with that one small caveat, this was great. I highly recommend it for anyone who likes stories about smart travelers. If you or your students or your kids like stories like Stone Soup, this would be a great follow along with very, very, very similar appeal. Go borrow it from your local public library or go pick up a copy. It, it's great. I highly, highly recommend it. If you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library, why not take just one minute and tell the powers that be exactly that? Tell your mayor, tell a council member, tell your MP or MLA that you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library. We're at a time where some public libraries are having trouble finding sustainable funding to continue improving the materials, programs, and services they offer. And a few good words in the right ears might make a world of difference. If by some chance you're a library staff member, don't forget, watching my videos counts as professional development time. 
With that, thanks for listening to me gush about this one. By all means, please like, please subscribe, and please check back to see what else I have to talk about from the Cowhat Library. Thank you. Bye now.